information and I am making this video because I promised you guys that I would because now I am working on my newest WWE custom figure which will be Brian Kendrick okay so since this is sort of a tutorial for this uh, Brian Kendrick we're gonna go for more of a modern look so it's not gonna be one with the shorts but uh, I know what you're saying to yourself you made Paul London have shorts well Paul London still has shorts Brian Kendrick does not and during those independent shows that they're both at uh, they don't necessarily match each other when they're tag team partners so I'm just gonna give Brian Kendrick a modern look hoping for something in the independent scene so here's what you're gonna need first off you're gonna need a Miz body alright I used this one I think this one's from like Survivor Series or Basic Series or something I already painted the t tights well I didn't paint it I just sharpie markered and then uh, I put sharpie marker where the tights are and put sealer on it so it doesn't scuff or scratch or anything see I'm rubbing smooth and no black is getting on the leg uh, I didn't do the boots yet but I'm going to also for the head you have two options you could use the goofy smirk that the Miz has or you could use Drew McIntyre um, I, re I, I think Drew McIntyre would be better to use but because I want to use the goofy look that Brian Kendrick usually has I'm just gonna use the Miz head and modify it a bit so here we go so usually first I like to modify the head so what we're gonna do since uh, Brian Kendrick does not have a mohawk is we're gonna cut the mohawk you could either sand it use a knife uh, I don't know if scissors is gonna work but try your best to get the mohawk off alright so after you cut it you should get something like this the Miz at age 65 <laughs> I'm just kidding um but what I used to cut the mohawk was a razor and uh, be careful when, if you decide to use a razor because I almost cut my finger and that would have been terrible so next we're gonna sculpt the hair alright in order to sculpt the long hair that Brian Kendrick usually has you're gonna need something called Xboxy now Xboxy is this putty mainly used for hardware but in this case and in many other custom action figures cases where you're gonna use it to do, to add on to the figure so this is the version I use Prox, Pro, Pro Poxy 20 this costs like five bucks or something at the hardware store there's a lot more options cheaper options too but that one I've been using for years so I'm gonna stick to it also also you're gonna need a hot cup of water And last, you're going to need something to sculpt the hair with. So I suggest either a toothpick, uh, an unused pencil, something sharp. So since we're sculpting Brian Kendrick's hair, we have many options. We have this right here. Let me zoom in. We have something like that. And we have something like that. So... Uh, we'll see how I do it. You guys could do whatever you want for your customs. Uh, I'll see how mine turns out and I'll film it. Okay, so I forgot to mention two things. For the cup, for the hot cup of water, you're going to dip the epoxy in it multiple times. And before that, when you take out the epoxy, you're going to see that there's going to be some white parts and some black parts. Let me show you on the tube see the gray parts in the middle so what you want you want to do is take a bit of it and then just roll it up together until it becomes like one color one gray color and then just keep dipping it in the hot water and putting it on whatever you need to and sculpt it because this has to be like a quick process it can't take long or else it'll get hard like cement 
So there you go. Alright guys, so I just finished sculpting the hair and I applied some paint and here's what it came out to look like. I, I got Kendrick's hairstyle, put his goatee on. Uh, it's a little funny, it turned out to, more, to look more like Jesus, but uh, I'm still happy with it. It looks close enough to Brian Kendrick with that goofy smirk and I'm happy with it. What I did was I applied acrylic brown paint. Uh, I'll show you it right now. I used this acrylic paint. Folk art usually is the best option. For the goatee I used the same brand, not the same paint though. It's a different shade of brown. And I applied it with uh, one of these pins. I just applied it like that. And that's how you got, how you get the goatee. And while I was doing that, I used Sharpie marker and paint markers to apply Kendrick on his tights and to put one of his logos on the back, which is a skull with golden wings. And also, while both of those were drying, I made Brian Kendrick's jacket, which is my first time making a jacket. So. Um, I'm going to show you what the final piece looks like because now all I have to do is do the boots and then it should be a completed Brian Kendrick figure. Alright guys, so here's the final figure. I added a little more uh, hair to it. I darkened the eyebrows and now it looks a little more like Dan not Daniel Bryan, more like uh, Brian Kendrick. I also added the coat, which helped a lot, and I put some uh, logos and whatnot. I put the Jester logos on the boots. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, here's a comparison with the Paul London. So here's the Paul London with Brian Kendrick. I'm happy with it. I hope you guys like it. Um, again. If you are going to attempt this custom, what I would do is I would use a Drew McIntyre head. I kind of regret not using one, but it's still a goofy looking Brian Kendrick, I guess. So, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed me making this custom figure, and I'll catch you later. See ya.